Yo, what's going on guys? It's FIFA Abe here. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, I switched my name over to FIFA Abe. It's a little more recognizable, a little less confusing for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like it. If you have any other suggestions, uh, leave it in the comments down below. And let's see if we can reach 15 likes on this video. Spam that thumbs up button, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Now, what we have here today is our Daily Knockout Tournament tutorial. Now, these are going to be some tips for you guys to get through and qualify for the weekend league. We have some special prizes this weekend, or I'm sorry, not this weekend, but on the Daily Knockout Tournament prizes. Um, as you saw on the screen, we have a special Rudy card. It is a Bundesliga team of the season, I think from Hoffenheim, if I'm not mistaken. But those stats are really nice, guys. You're going to want that card on your team. For a future SBC, if you need a high-rated team of the season player, you never know. Or any other SBC where you need something high-rated. As you see on the screen, we have a little bit of a different team. Because the requirements have changed for this weekend and the Daily Knockout Tournament, you need a maximum amount of 8 gold players and, well, pretty much a minimum amount of 3 uh, silver or bronze players and also on the bench. So you can only use 8 gold players. I went with the full BPL team because I think it had probably the, that's probably the league with the best silver players. Um, didn't really worry about the offense that much. Instead, I changed up the defense because I really didn't want to change my offense. Um, so we had right back from Burnley, Dark Darkinwa, I think his name is, and then left back from Chelsea, who was on loan earlier in the season, Ake. Now what we're looking for in our fullbacks is decent pace and decent physicality. Not so much worried about the, uh, the defensive stats or the defensive overall because I don't think that really matters for the fullbacks. I don't really use the fullbacks that much anyways because I use a 4 one 2 one 2 so I'm kind of spamming one twos in the midfield with midfielders and attackers. I'm going to give you guys some tips now on how to win games in general, you know, win more games and uh, just best tips to do better at the weekend league and do better in foot champs um, as well as the daily knockout tournament. So probably one of my biggest tips is adjusting to your opposing player on defense mostly. Now their defense, the way they defend is going to dictate, of course, how many times you score, or how you attack but never play the same never play too predictable um, try and be surprising uh, to the opposing player so for example if they're really aggressive um, you guys can watch the gameplay here I'm not really gonna talk about the gameplay per se um, but if they're really aggressive the best way to get through it is one twos and through balls and chip through balls if you see them they're really aggressive they give you no time in the ball as soon as you get the ball they're flying towards you with their defender or midfielder make sure you have precise and quick passes you gotta make quick passes because they're not gonna give you much time on the ball so you gotta make those quick passes and try and make a play once you're near the 18 yard box and uh, near the opposing team's defending line chip through balls work really well if you make a 1-2 after you make the first pass and on the second pass you can easily make a through ball there's a couple examples here on the video um, you can easily make a through ball over the defender, the momentum is going the other way, they have no chance. And then put a driven, driven shot, finesse shot, however you guys finish, I'll have a finishing tutorial uh, later on in my channel. There's two different ways that people really defend. And only the elite defenders defend both ways, which is aggressive and conservative. So a conservative is more cutting the passing lanes, you know, kind of waiting uh, the opponent's offense out. The way to get through this is play possession, guys. Wait for that perfect moment, that perfect opening. It'll always be there, guys. Nobody, no one can defend perfectly. And you might get a little luck, you never know. The more possession you have of the ball, the less unlucky you'll be. I try and go for 55% or maybe 60%. I, I try and hit a, set a really high standard for uh, possession. Because the more you have the ball, the less they have the ball, the less they're gonna score, the more you're gonna score. So if they're really conservative and cutting passing lanes, my tip for you is really hold the ball. Don't toss it out in the back line. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying really control the midfield. Make sure your guys are open. Don't always hit um, the L1 button or LB. Make sure you're really making those passes, nice little one-twos, and then wait till, the, till your attackers do the job. They'll make the run, and if it's a perfect moment, make that pass. Don't try and take too many risky passes because usually these conservative defenders are really good at counterattacks. So you're going to want to be really precise and really, really smart about your passing for uh, conservative 
uh, defenders, and it's all about adjusting to how your opponent plays. I think that's one of the biggest things that uh, a lot of people don't understand. It's all about adjusting to how your opponent plays because you don't want to play the same way on against every opponent you play. You have to adjust. They could defend aggressively. They could defend conservatively. Uh, they could defend like a freaking maniac. I don't know. They could have 90 aggression, 90 pressure on their custom tactics. It's just adjusting to the game, guys. Everyone plays different. Try and be unpredictable. It'll definitely help you guys out. I hope these tips helped you out. Get through that daily knockout tournament. Get that team of the season booty. That card is so nice, guys. Keep them for your club. Use them for your team. Good luck on this weekend league, guys. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're about four subs away from 100 subscribers. Hope you guys like the new name. FIFA Abe here, signing out.